welcome back to the pen and ink well thank you very much for coming back thank you for much gosh let's start again thank you very much for coming back to us today today i'm going to be looking at a visconti pen i don't think i've reviewed a visconti pen before um i think most of that is down to the fact that um they are uh on the more pricey edge of the sort of fountain pens they have now started doing some that are more reasonably priced however you know for things like the rembrandt and that i did own a rembrandt once um however i sort of feel they are really quite expensive for steel nib still nibbed pens the other reason that i don't own a visconti myself is because that cheaper end you know those the steel nibs like the rembrandt and the van gogh um not that they're cheap they're still both well over a hundred pound now they don't do them in extra fine nibs so for me it's no good I did get a fine nib once but it was still too broad for me to write with and um, so I yeah, I sold it on from there uh, but it did write beautifully which is why I really wanted to try some more and I do very much covet the um, the Visconti Homo Sapiens, the bronze edition. It's one of the pens that is on my grail list that I really want at some point during my lifetime and that I hope to be able to get my hands on. Love to review one sometime as well. Um, but again, it would be with an extra fine nib and they do then come in extra fine nibs. As you get to the gold nib um, pens, they do come in extra fine nibs. But I've seen some beautiful Homo Sapiens now in the um, the London fog that has come out recently just looks absolutely stunning um, but just out of my price range I'm afraid so I was very 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 excited um, at the London pen show back at the beginning of October to meet somebody there called Mike who had a massive collection of Visconti pens and who very very graciously gave me the opportunity to review a pen which was wonderful. And what I've got is a Visconti Opera. Now this is the one of the metal editions. So they come in, I think it's five different colours, four or five different colours, but I'll give you the you know the finer detail actually when we go and look at the pen closer. But I've got the roadster version. I did have all of them to choose from and decided that I really wanted to look at the roadster. The colours were just so different for me and I really liked those. So the same sort of makeup as the normal opera, but these are metal editions and you'll see why they've been called what they're called and why they are what they are. A very different nib for me. I haven't come across a tubular nib before, so this does have a tubular nib, which is looks amazing. I think it's a love it or hate it type sort of thing, really, um, but just drew me really to this pen. Um, it's a medium nib, so again for me it's going to be a bit different, but the, the fact that I could have an opportunity to try one of these pens, I leapt at the opportunity. So thank you very much for loaning me this pen, Mike. It will be coming back to you very, very shortly. It will go back with Karis, and um, as I say, thank you very much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera around now, and I'm going to look at this pen in much more detail. So here we are. So this is how this pen arrives beautiful box i think the um homo sapiens because i've looked at a few of them comes in this same box as well but beautiful beautiful box it's a brown sort of leather feel box it's quite soft and you can see the logo on here visconti the writing renaissance written under here so clamshell open box but what we've got here is this little drawer and in here goes the warranty and everything. I didn't get that just to have a look at this pen, but in here would go all the paperwork you know, required for that pen. So let's have a look. We won't go on too much about the box. Let's get it open and see what's inside. So then, well, just to finish off with the box, we've got a lovely sort of cream, almost sort of leather feel again, cushioned inside here. And then the pen is really snugly tucked in between so let's get this out it's different isn't it very very different but i think it's great so let's move that away and we'll look at this a bit closer so this is the visconti opera and this is the metal edition and this one is called roadster so this comes in the black with the like a sort of um olivey lime green finishings to them here 
and you'll see straight away that it's got this sort of hexagonal feeling to it there's these straight sides right the way around it which I think makes for a wonderfully comfortable pen to hold so it but it is very very modern looking the trademark Visconti clip with Visconti written on it here that lovely arch but probably one of the most functional nibs I um, clips I found it just it's not difficult to lift up but it holds really really well so if you have a look at the top here the finial here has got the Visconti logo just here with again encased in this beautiful lime olive green colour and then right around the middle here we've got that same band in and it's got the name of this one as I said which was Roadster written here and then the bottom then exactly the same finish to it so this is say these come in four colours this one's Roadster they also do one called Monza which is black like this exactly the same black but where this lime green is there's red so it sort of goes along with that sort of racing then there is a speed boat which is silver and black and no it's not it's silver and blue sorry so it's silver here where the black is and then it's like a really lovely sort of topazy blue in between here um, and then the other one then is called silver shadow which is silver with grey on it so to say so that's the four editions we have right so what we've got here is the same this is what I was really excited to try as well because it's on the homo sapiens the same hook lock cap that you get on the homo sapiens and you literally just push it in slightly and you twist it slightly to the side and it opens up as easy as that so it's so secure but very quick so if you're in a meeting and you're twisting a pen and some of them have too many turns and you twist and twist and twist and try and get a cap off it can be a bit of a pain but that is as simple as that is so let's put this cap down and you can see if you have a look at it sort of close there you can see the um, the markings of this hook system where they just catch in there and then they just slide out through there it's an ingenious idea um, let me give you sort of details of measurements before I forget because I've taken the cap off already but if this, the cap was on which I can just put back on here for you um, it is 145 millimeters long as you're looking at it here from the finial to the tip of the pen here it is 130 millimeters from the end to the tip of the nib and post it and you can post it I'm not sure you would but you can it is possible to post this it would be 175 millimeters so it makes for quite a lengthy pen at that point weight wise 42 grams without the cap with the cap sorry and 27 grams without it so as this is quite it's not heavy you know 42 grams i don't find heavy it's certainly not lightweight but it's not heavy i wouldn't choose to post it i think it sits really nicely in there so this lovely green comes down yellow olive green comes down to the grip section here and it really is we've got a bit of a step down you can see if I hold it there you can see it steps down from the body to the grip section but really nice so it makes them for a really comfortable holding position particularly even with me and my nails but it sits very nicely in the hand from there so let's have a look this anodized aluminium is comfortable it's not it doesn't get hot in the hand and it's not slippery either a really nice feel to it but let's have a look at what is I find very different about this and this is this nib this tubular nib so it's a tu this one is a tubular chromium nib so this one and the Monza comes with these black nibs and then the other two the speedboat and the silver shadow come with the silver nibs but it wraps this oh, sorry have a look I can go a bit closer see if it'll focus for you it wraps right the way around the nib and even meets here at the back and then the feed 
slips in through in the middle of this nib. I have had issues when I first used this pen. I did have issues with some burping of ink onto the page. It happened. Well, once I wiped it all up then and sort of took the excess out. It was just after I'd filled the pen and I haven't had an issue with it since. I have read about some people having similar issues, but as I said, it was only the once that I had that problem with it. I didn't have it any more than that. This is a medium nib. You can see there, it's quite a, I sort of find it, it's on the broader edge of medium, I would say. But what I have to do now is actually show you how this writes because that is where this pen sort of comes to life really. Let me go out rather than in so you can see what I'm writing. I don't use medium nibs um, at all really. Um, even Japanese medium, I don't think I, I, I think I may own one medium nib. And this is, as I said, on the broader end of medium. So let's have a look. So. So this is the Visconti Opera Metal and this one is called Roadster and we've got a medium nib and if you're wondering the ink is Geobin Fair olive. It is a very wet nib and an extremely, extremely smooth nib. It takes, yeah, I'm just holding this by the tip of my fingers, very little pressure whatsoever. I haven't written with anything as smooth as this. There is a bit of line variation to be had from it and there's some nice shading that comes out of this with this ink as you can see just by looking at that there. Um, you can write upside down with it and it gives you a very extra fine nib then. Not that I sort of would, I think, but it gives you that sort of variation if you wanted to do that. So there we have it. So this is the Visconti Opera Metal and this is the Roadster. As I said, it comes in three other finishes on top of this. It's a beautiful pen, a really lovely. I wouldn't have it in the medium nib um, and it's not a cheap pen. So we're looking at, I've seen these priced between about 390 and about £405 here in the UK. So as I said, so not particularly cheap, but what you've got here is a very, very high quality made pen. A wonderful, wonderful nib on that pen. Um, as you say, love it or hate it, odd, interesting, whichever word you choose to use for that, I go with interesting and I like something a little bit different. Um, it's fabulous. Um, would I add it to my collection? If I had the money, I think I'd have the Homo sapiens first, but if I had extra money, then yes, I would add one of these to, in my collection, but in an extra fine. But talking about that, it actually comes in an extra fine, and this medium, a broad, and a double broad, and I think I've seen it with a, a stub 1.3 nib as well. So there's, there's options available for you as far as you know, finishes on this pen, and nibs are concerned, so beautiful. Go and take a look at the different finishes, have a look. If you're looking for something a little bit different and something that is very classic in a modern way, I think this is it. It gives you something that would look great as a gift, would look great if you're looking for a high-end pen to use in meetings that looks nice, but wants something that little bit more modern and has that sort of more contemporary feel about it, then I think this is probably it. Any questions, please drop me a line. Thanks again, Mike, for loaning me this. It'll be on its way back to you well, by next week. And thanks all again. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.